live in a place where there's a measles outbreak and your appearance is what you definitely need to know and what I'm guessing your doctor probably forgot to mention. So we know that there's a vaccine for measles, which is amazing because vaccines tend to work well and the measles vaccine actually works really, really well. It's 97% effective, which means that if you do get the vaccine, your kid might get sick, but they probably won't get really sick to the point where they have long-term irreparable health damage or where they have to go to the hospital or where they die, which is just like an unthinkably awful experience. The problem is, this is that the kids had to get the vaccines at specific times. First dose was typically at 12 to 18 months old. And then the second dose was for kids who were four to six years old. Then I did a little digging and I found out that actually healthcare providers will sometimes give the first dose early, sometimes as early as six months. So you don't have to wait until you have a kid who's 12 months old. You can often get that first vaccine dose into them earlier, which is really super helpful. And then because it's a two dose vaccine, and if you're like me, I just wanted my kids to be vaccinated you can actually ask for and generally your healthcare provider will agree to provide the second dose of the vaccine four weeks after you got the first dose so if your kid gets their first dose at 12 months they can get their second dose at 13 months old which for me was amazing because I have a one and a half year old and I didn't want to wait for him to be four years old to get the full 97% vaccine protection. And guess what? Now he's got a double dose of the vaccine. So he's reached the 97% and I'm actually exhaling <laughs> quite often these days that he got the vaccines already because we're in the middle of a giant measles outbreak uh, in Southern Ontario. And it's scary for parents, but it's a hell of a lot scarier when your kid isn't vaccinated. I'm Dr. Anna Durbin, a public health scientist, mom of three, and um, always looking for that healthcare hack.